Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the strings str1 and str2 as the input and print the before that the str2 is the rotated version of the str1 now the program has print the minimum rotations in the str1 so that the str1 becomes str2 now the rotations are left or right or in any direction If now the if, uh, number of left rotation and right rotation are equal means we have to print a plus the number of rotation and if the left rotation is minimum means that is to obtain the str2 in left then we have to print l plus number of rotation and if the right rotation is minimum means we have to print r plus that is right plus number of rotation so we are getting two string strings and uh, str2 is a rotated version of str1 then the program must print the minimum rotation in str1 so that str1 becomes str2 the rotations are left or right or in any direction so if the number of left, ro left rotations is equal to number of right rotations means it is in any direction so for that we'll print a plus the number of rotation and for the left rotation to be minimum we'll print the left plus uh, number of rotation and for the right rotation to be minimum we'll print a right plus number of rotation that is so now after this rotations and we'll take our first test case so here we'll have this is str1 and this is the rotated version that is str2 and we'll have two variables that is left where it has hello and in right we'll have hello so now we'll iterate over one to the length of str one times uh, now we'll rotate towards left from left and we'll rotate towards right in right so first we'll have here h will be more towards left so we'll take that and now here we'll rotate towards right so it becomes like this so now we'll again rotate as we didn't get str2 so here it becomes e and here we'll have l so now we can see we're getting str2 in the left so 
will print el and we got it in second iteration right so we'll get 2 so this will be our output let us implement our program first we'll get the str1 and then we'll get str2 and now we'll check if the str1 is equal to equal to str2 means we have to print any a0 because it is in any direction else if the left str comma the right str will have str1 and str2 sorry str1 now we'll have a for loop for ctr in range 1 comma len of str 1 plus 1 that is from 1 to len of str1 we'll change or we'll shift each character in left str towards left and we'll shift the characters in right in right str so left str is equal to left str 1 plus left str 0 and in right str it will be right str minus 1 plus right str minus 1 so after shifting the characters now if the left str is equal to equal to str2 and the right str equal to equal to str2 will print the a plus the str of ctr and elif the left str is equal to equal to str2 means we'll print l plus str of ctr and else sorry elif the right str equal to equal to str2 means we'll print r plus str of ctr and here we'll use break for each elif and we'll have a quick recap so first we are getting str1 and str2 so if str1 is equal to equal to str2 means it is in any direction so we'll print a0 so after that we'll have the values left str and right str in that we'll iterate over 1 to the length of str1 and we'll shift each character in left str towards left and we'll shift each character in right str towards right so after shifting the characters we'll check our condition that is if the left str is equal to equal to str2 and right str is equal to equal to str2 means we have to print a plus the C str of ctr then if uh, left str is equal to equal to str2 means we'll print l plus str of ctr and we'll just break and after that if the right str is equal to equal to str2 means we'll print r plus str of ctr now we'll execute our program we'll pass our first test case so here you can see we have got the correct output now we'll take our second test case so here also we have got the correct output that is r3 now we'll take our third test case so here we have got a4 which is the correct output so if we have the two strings to be equal means that is the first string is left corners and the second string also left corners means that is if left equal to equal to right means we have to print a0 that is in any direction our program has passed all our given test cases successfully
Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you.